Look at this, that's fantastic. <laughs> because just today, back just a little bit. Honestly, let me improve your shot a little bit. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> that tickles. For this episode of the Ms. Movie Phone Show, I asked the cast of Rocket Man a series of questions that helped me determine which Elton John costume they were. Ooh, like I just found me as a jacket. Hello, Yellow Brick Road. Series of questions, be as descriptive as possible. Uh -huh. My shoulder pads make me wise. Okay, great. <laughs> now, what is the most trouble that you've ever gone to to get into an outfit? I have to say, in this movie, I wear a Queen Elizabeth the First costume that took forever to get into. How, how long are we talking, an hour? I think probably about 40 minutes. <laughs> yeah. There have been some insane circumstances where it's just like you have folks kind of holding the outfit out for you, you know, stretching it, and you're like about to dive into, it's almost like a womb-like situation. You're like, whoa! Having to put things on, like in, in, in Thrones, there was armor I wore that we had to put on sitting down because you couldn't actually get it all up and on. <laughs> yeah, so have fun standing up. Yeah, oh, and then you fall down again. <laughs> it would have been when I was acting in the theater, and it was something that was all white, and I had to wear like white tights and a white bodice, and then I had something not dissimilar to what you're wearing. I just remember it, it was just a great costume. In that costume, you could not sit down, you could not touch anything. You no, couldn't... no, and I had a propensity to attract dirt from every, and I was <laughs> and I was wearing nothing but white. So I was I was constantly being fussed over by the wardrobe department. Describe your preferred ratio of style to comfort on a scale of Crocs to stilettos. <laughs> The last time I wore Crocs uh, was when I did an interview with um, Kirsten Dunst, and uh, we were both being interviewed together, and I showed up in like sweatpants and Crocs, yes. and and afterwards she was like, Rex, you know, like they, they'll write about like what you're wearing and stuff like that. And she was, I mean, she's, she's very loving and supportive. Sure. She was like, I don't know if you should wear Crocs to interviews. <laughs> It's never going to be Crocs, and I don't think I'm a stiletto person. Um, I think there's a world in which you can combine the two. Okay, so so middle middle of the middle, road. Middle of the road. I've never worn stilettos. Just give it a shot, and it's like I think it's. Oof. I've got rubbery ankles though, they, <laughs> uh, so I'm not really sure if it's the one for me. Is that a medical term? Uh, rubbery ankles. <laughs> I just coined it. I've never said it before. Would you prefer personally a modest amount of sparkle or an abundance? Of I sparkle? I'd go modest. Abundance. If you're gonna go sparkle, you've gotta go big. It depends what it's for. So if I'm going out on a Friday night, mm -hmm. I'd probably try and keep it relatively chic. Okay, so maybe more modest. If I was at Glastonbury, you can't have enough. Pick one everyday item to bedazzle. Could we bedazzle a car? Shit, yeah. My toothbrush. God bless you for saying that. <laughs> That's <laughs> phenomenal. It'll be so fun. Do you have a favorite cocktail or just a favorite drink? I love a martini. Vodka or gin? Vodka. Good man. My favorite cocktail is a Paloma. Ooh, fun! It's tequila, grapefruit, soda, and fresh lime. God, I love Sometimes people put salt in the rim, and I really hate that. It doesn't need it. <laughs> I'd rather like a vodka martini with a, with a dirty vodka martini with an olive in it. I keep okay. coming back to dirty. I keep everything's dirty with me, isn't it? Yeah. That's why we're getting along so well. Yeah, maybe that's why. I've actually never had any alcohol my whole life. So um, why I say drink? Because I mean, yes, not everybody exactly. is boozing it up. So my favorite drink? Yeah. Hot chocolate. God, oh, that. Hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. I love hot chocolate. I just ordered hot chocolate not 15 minutes ago. Would you rather wear the same outfit every day or would you only want to wear things once and get rid of it? I love wearing the same outfit every day. I get my, my uniform done, I'm like black jeans, black t-shirt, black jacket, done. I would rather wear the same outfit every day. Okay, see, it's all coming together for yes, me now. Yeah, I actually wrote a letter to my principal, the principal of my school when I was in third grade, <laughs> asking for him to have uniforms for the students because I said it took too much time to make decisions in the morning and I thought that some of the kids looked sloppy. And he wrote me back and he was like, Thank you for your concern, but no. One thing that Elton and I actually have in common is that I'm a bit of a hoarder. I quite like artifacts and material things that sort of remind me of times in my life and stuff. I collect vinyl, so I certainly would not be someone who threw clothes away. I believe that this is the outfit that embodies you. I love that outfit. <sighs> the 
This jacket is everything. It's beautiful, isn't it, yeah. Okay, so based on these answers to the question, I am going to put you in this, this one. This is excellent. This is the really, it couldn't be a better choice. I gotta say, it's one of my favorite costumes of Julian Days from the entire production. This means that you have flair. Yeah. And so here's the Elton John out outfit from Rocket Man that you are. I'm pleased with that. Are you? I'm pleased. I thought we were going to have a bunch of sequins going on that I wasn't going to be able to pull off, but this, this I could do. Maybe, maybe I'll take the hat off sometimes. I don't even have to pretend to calculate <laughs> what has happened because you are this outfit. Yes, I am so that outfit. And you are so fabulous. And also, it's I feel like you would f***ing rock a neckerchief. <laughs> Yes, yes, I love neckerchiefs. I do, I do. I have to tell you that these shoulder pads give me like mental ability. <laughs> yes. This is by far the smartest I've ever been. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> Farewell, my fabulous friend. Till we meet again.